At SAV, you leave home at a very, very young age. Most of us, 14, 15 years old, we come and we live in the dorms and we're on our own and it's all for us to pursue becoming professional ballerinas. In my final years at the school, I was really nervous to see what was going to happen with my future. It was a stepping stone in the right direction towards possibly becoming a part of a company that I had dreamed for so long to be a part of. New York City Ballet was the dream company. So I'll wake up and I'll make myself breakfast and then I will sit down and maybe watch some TV or do some school if I have time. The last time we left off, I was an apprentice. In October of this year, I got my core contract. So I'm now officially a part of the New York City Ballet and I honestly couldn't be more honored. You go and you take class at 10.30, and then you have rehearsal until seven o'clock, and then when there's a performance, you have a show at 7.30, and you probably aren't out of the theater until 11 or 10, so it's a job. Now I'm working on my art form. Now I'm working on who I am on stage. I have to now work on who I want to be and what I want to portray on stage and who I want to portray to the audience. I can't tell you what makes someone stand out or what makes someone unique because I think everyone is unique in their own way. I think that you have to have the basic technique, but I look around the studio every day and every single person in the company has perfect technique. There are so many people that I look up to in the company. It doesn't matter if they're a year older than me or two years older than me or if I've been looking up to them since I was 12 years old. In five years, my goal is to be a better dancer, to be a better artist. <laughs> I, I can't tell you exactly where I want to be, but that's my goal, is to develop into an artist that I'm proud to say is me on stage. I think everyone is so unique in their own way, and I think that watching everyone can really help you decide what type of dancer you want to be and what type of artist you want to, to portray, and I'm so lucky to have such a variety of dancers to look at every single day. Subscribe to youtube.com slash Teen Vogue so you don't miss Strictly Ballet Season 2.